Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin. Now it's been almost a month since we've been in here, and uh, so I don't know what we're going to find. So let's go have a look. All right, so here we are on the top level. I'll have to go back and look at the video to see what did we feed last time, but I know that we refreshed this bin, so that's why all of the, the bedding is brand new looking. There are some worms in here. Looks like we might have fed some melon last time. But there's not a ton of worms up here. Not that I'm seeing. I'm just seeing some, you know, leftover seeds and corn husk, avocado bits. But yeah, there are some worms up here, but nothing super spectacular. So I think we will probably feed up here once we get this reassembled. So let's see what the next row down is doing. All right, here we are on the middle level. And I think we redid this recently as well. So everything looks, you know, the bedding still looks really good. You still see grit from the last time I put it in there. seeing any real food here, just the remnants of avocados. And some corn, banana stem. Okay, so this seems to have a lot more worms than the top, but you can see these guys are definitely making some nice castings already. Okay, let's look at the, the bottom layer. Okay, here we are on the bottom. As usual, it is much wetter and seems to go a little bit faster. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think in parts of the worm bin where I have a greater amount of moisture, I do think that it cycles faster. So we've got the, the corn cobs, of course. Those take many months probably close to six to really, you know, finish up. Doesn't look like they're even in the middle yet. I usually don't feed a lot down on this level because all of the juices tend to kind of go down here. But I do think it's a good idea to put some of the long-term food in there so that it stays nice and wet and uh, gets a better chance of staying wet in the worm bin critters and the worms can eat them uh, in a more timely manner. So, let's see. i break that down just a little so it fits. And get the top layer back on. All right, now let's get these guys a good amount of food. I'm gonna make myself a pit here. put some of the food that's dry, put that in the bottom so that it can get the new wet food on it. All right, so this stuff has not been frozen. Uh, bananas, avocado peels, seeds. I don't know, maybe that's not enough. Let me go get another bag. So this stuff's also not frozen, but at least they'll have some banana. I'll break that open for them. Put that down a little deeper so they can get to it. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to dig it a little bit deeper to fit those in there. I hadn't planned on feeding that much when I got started. Here's another banana that somebody didn't want to eat. Stick that in the bottom. And so we should have a really good worm ball next time. And now that I'm done with vacation, I can definitely start focusing on getting to these guys in a more timely manner. All right, well, that is the, the DIY. Put your comments below what you think is happening with this bin. And uh, if you think they'll be ready in a week, if we'll have a good worm ball or not. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, 
click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.